They were the moments that rocked us, the moments that shocked us. This place is like bonkers right now. These are the biggest Bachelor bombshells of 2018. It's time for Roses and Rosé. <gasps> Hi everybody, I'm Lauren Zima and I have adorned myself in my rose blankets because we have to be all about the complete, horrifying, wonderful, fabulous, best of the worst, worst of the best summary of Bachelor 2018 that we are talking about right now. And so for that, I just wanted to be covered in roses. Guys, we are here to break down the 13 biggest bachelor bombshells of the year. So you know what I might as well. I just need to need to get myself some more wine right now. We have a rosé colored background in this video. I like that. It's just how I like my rosé, the lightest of pink, borderline translucent. Remember that when you're doing your holiday gift giving. Rosé is not just for summer. It's year round. Okay. By the way, guys, want to know if you agree with our list. So leave your comments in the comment section and tell us anything we left off. I've had, you know, a couple glasses already probably, so it's feasible that I forgot something. Anything that shouldn't have been on the list, the moment wasn't as shocking as you thought, let me know. Okay, let's get to it. And I'm gonna drink for each moment. Please drink responsibly. Number 13, Ben Higgins' Winter Games Wonderland of a Meltdown. Yes, you remember Bachelor Winter Games. It was the show we didn't see coming, but you know, we liked having, even though it was a lot of Bachelor to watch in one week. As much as I love this show, we had two hours of Ari and four hours of BWG each week. Oh, wow. And what was also a lot was Ben Higgins' breakdown. Remember, he was in tears talking to the king of sit-downs, Chris Harrison, about his ex, Lauren Bushnell. Shocking. Take a look. Nobody realizes how real it was. Mm -hmm. And they say, did you really love her? Did you really care? I actually get emotional. Drink for every tear. That's dangerous, wow. I didn't see that coming, and I don't think Ben did either. I thought he was gonna go on Winter Games and be like cash and fun and hit the slopes, you know? He lives in Denver, he knows how to ski. And then things took a turn and he ended up leaving early. Wow, wow, wow. By the way, I recently spoke to Ben on the phone and things haven't gotten much better in his dating life since then. He said he's only really dated two women, kind of, since splitting from Lauren. Whew, all our love to Ben. Next up, number 12, Ashley and Jared are a real couple, dot, 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 and even engaged. Yes, cheers to Ashley Iaconetti and Jared Haben. Haben, I never say his name right. Jared, is it Haben? I said Haben. Drink for both ways of saying it. Mm -hmm. These two pleasantly surprised and shocked everybody with the bombshell that they were actually a couple and that it was serious. It was like after years of being friends on and off lovers and even Ashley dating a Canadian. Hey Kevin, he was sweetie. They made things work, realized the errors of their ways. Jared in particular got it together. He has told me he owns what he did wrong and owns that he didn't see the love of his life before. Well, now he and Ashley are engaged, set to be married in 2019. A bombshell that was a rom-com shell. Congrats to the two of them. We love it. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Number 11, 
Garrett's Instagram scandal. Garrett, I don't know how to say his last name. Put it up on the screen. Irigoshen. Garrett. Irigoshen. Becca Kufrin's fiance became much talked about before we even knew much about him on her season because old Instagram likes that he'd made were discovered. He'd liked some offensive memes and things. And Garrett, after a period of silence, ultimately apologized and ultimately got engaged to Becca Kufrin. The two seem very happy now. People who know Garrett say he's the nicest and the sweetest. But wow, oh wow, did that turn into a shocker because not only did he like those memes, but he was the guy in the end. Wow. Number 10, Colton's Virgin Reveal. Long before he. Oh, wait, I forgot to drink. This glass, I love how big it is. It's like I want to put my whole head into it. I can't, but I would if I could. I just got rose on my forehead. It's fine. My makeup artist won't care at all. Sorry, Elle. Anyway, she did a red lip for me today for this video. Okay, so Colton, long before he was our bachelor, he was on The Bachelorette. It almost seems hard to remember at this point, doesn't it, guys? Like, so much has happened since then. Paradise, and it's like 2018. The Olympics were this year. Wow. Um, I still am. I am a virgin. Really? Colton revealed that he was a full-on virgin on Becca Kufrin's season of The Bachelorette, and he was about 26 years old at the time. It was a bombshell. There had never been a male virgin on the show before. I know you're going to bring up Sean Lowe. Here's the thing. Sean Lowe was a born-again virgin for religious reasons. Colton has never had sex. That's the difference. Okay, okay, great. We're good. So, what a moment. And of course, you'll remember it was amplified by the scene in which Colton told Becca because it looked like Becca excused herself. There was some silence and it was awkward. But Becca took to Twitter to say she just had to go to the bathroom. Who wouldn't have to pee in a weird moment? I would need a moment. I have to pee all the time. Such a small bladder. Mm -hmm. Anyway. TMI. Okay, number nine, grocery store Joe on Dancing with the Stars. Yes, this was a bombshell, guys, because here's the thing. No bachelorettes <laughs> since Trista, and not every bachelor lead get to be on Dancing with the Stars. So it was pretty surprising when grocery store Joe, a dude from night one who, granted, did make much bigger of a show on Bachelor in Paradise, but he was put on Dancing with the Stars? What, what, wow. And you know what? Once I found out the rest of the cast, it made sense because it wasn't the biggest list of A-listers the show's ever had, I will say that. It's a very, like, I don't know, it's an intimate dance, I guess. This is the dance I better dedicate to my mother. Are you guy? Perhaps an even bigger shocker, Joe made it almost all the way to the very end there. And I congratulate him because he is fun and he is a sweetie and it was fun to watch. And him and Kendall are still together. At the timing of this video, I hope nothing changes. Number eight, back to Colton. Colton is our bachelor. Yes, this was a bit of a bombshell because a lot of people were predicting Jason since he had become a fan favorite or Blake since he had been oh, really brokenhearted by Becca. But in the end, after a dramatic summer in paradise where he shed as many tears as the ocean rolled out waves, Colton Underwood was named our bachelor and I am good to go with it. I know that some of you feel differently. Feel free to speak out in the comments. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hot in these blankets, but I won't take them off. I won't do it. I need to be adorned in the roses. No other part of my outfit can be showing. This is gonna, wow. Yep. Number seven, Bachelor. Oh. That actually makes sense because Something went down. Bachelor producer gone from the show. Yes, on the same day that Colton Underwood's women were revealed by Chris Harrison, Bachelor creator Mike Fleiss tweeted that longtime top producer Elon Gale would no longer be working with the show. <gasps> ah, ew, what does it mean? 
Indeed. Okay, I did some digging on this one and a source tells me that Elon had been considering leaving the show for a while and had been prioritizing other things, working on other projects along with The Bachelor and that Mike had kind of been seeing that. So at the end of the day, this was a fairly mutual parting of the ways, but there was also a bit of tension about what was being focused on. So I think it was something that made sense for everybody. And you know what? There's a lot of amazing producers on that show. Can't wait to see what they come up with next. <laughs> Including the producer in that moment with Colton where he cries in the trailer. That's not on our list, but should it have been? I'm already questioning my own list. Let me know in the comments below. I have this, wow, my red lips really pop in here. Should I have more eye makeup on? Always a question. Papa, can you hear me? I don't know. Papa, can you find me? Anyway, next up, number six, Caitlin and Sean's split. This was a rough one, everybody. And it was a bombshell that maybe we'd seen coming a little bit because there had been rumors and Instagram stalking about whether or not they were liking each other's posts or going to things together with each other. But anyway, Caitlin Bristow and Sean Booth split up after several years of being engaged after he proposed on the show. They were one of the most beloved couples in the franchise. I think they're both lovely people. Caitlin especially, she is just one of my very favorite, if not my favorite, bachelorettes. So man oh man, this was a bombshell of a bummer, wasn't it? But all the best to both of them and wishing Caitlin, oh, just all the love in the world. I hope that she finds someone who deserves her funny, kind, lovely self. But moving forward. Oh, by the way, you know what? If you guys have, who do you ship Caitlin with? Let me know in the comments. Anybody from Bachelor Nation who we'd like to see Caitlin date, let me know in the comments below. I was really pointing at my wine. I know I've said before in these videos that I don't like puppies. I'm sorry guys, but I'm not the biggest baby person either, but this is like my child. I have big news in 2019. I'm expecting more rosé. That's seamless childcare. Look at the way I'm supporting the neck. Anyway, numbers five. Five, four, three, and two are all to do with Ari. Number five, Ari dumped his fiance Becca Kufrin in an unedited scene from the show that he would later argue was edited, but Becca would stand by the fact that it wasn't edited. Ari's definition of edit was a little bit up in the air confusing. Just go. Whatever, he proposed to her, they got engaged, and then he dumped her. It was wild, wasn't it? God, that seems like so long ago. Number four, on the season finale of his season, Ari, after everyone had just watched that footage, which granted was a couple weeks old, but we had just watched it. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> after we just watched him dump Becca, Ari proposed live on television to Lauren Burnham. Congrats, question mark? What a moment. Number three, Ari and Lauren reveal, just as Becca's season is about to start, why? That they will be getting married in January 2019. Yes, not every couple from this franchise goes ahead and walks down the aisle for real, so Ari and Lauren really getting married, really doing it. That's a bombshell. And number two, <laughs> They might not get married till 2019, but we already know first comes baby. Ari and Lauren reveal that she is expecting their first child. So when they get married, she will be carrying an extra little one at the altar. All my love to them, truly. I will take any couple that can make it from this franchise. If I'm being honest, I know that I've expressed some issues with Ari in the past and I still have those issues, but I think Lauren is a real sweetheart. I want her to be happy. I want the two of them to be happy. And let's start 2019 fresh. Love and bombshells. And everyone, whoa. 
our number one bombshell of 2019. You know what it is, Jordan and Jenna and everything. I didn't even know how to fully summarize the Jordan and Jenna scandal of Bachelor in Paradise 2018, but Let's just try to Cliff's notes the insanity of it all. Jordan and Jenna are an unlikely couple out of paradise. Didn't really see it coming. Nicely yeah. done. It's R perfect. Matches the dress. Then on the tell-all, they talk about their wedding date. It's planned. They're ready. Didn't really see it coming. Then just after the tell-all, it comes out that Jenna allegedly, per alleged text messages, cheated on Jordan? What? And after that, the wild, wild west of Bachelor in Paradise world becomes a reality. Jordan and Jenna split up. Jenna hires a legal team. She said she's going to do some forensic analysis on her phone. And at the end of the Bachelor day, Jenna claims that Jordan is the one behind all the rumors. Wow. Wow. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Oh, do you need more? Is forensic evidence what you're looking for? We're falling into the clickbait of these headlines and we're on board with a full and detailed timeline jenna and jordan what happened to their love is out the window now Yes, from the depths all the way up to the shallow, we don't know what happened there. And you guys, I'm not sure we will ever get real, legit, credible fact answers on the Jenna and Jordan situation. But at the end of the day, we love The Bachelor. We're always kept guessing, wondering, questioning, adoring. And 2019 promises more big Bachelor bombshells to come. Colton Underwood's season premieres January 7th on ABC with a three-hour live show. What do you guys think? How is this list? 13 moments. I might have, as I said, forgotten something. I've been drinking some rosé. Mm -hmm. And now I have to bring in one of our favorite Bachelor critics, JC. Come on in, pal. JC. What was the Bachelor moment from this year that you will not forget? The uh, unedited Ari Becca breakup. Mm hmm. And why? That was intense. That took a lot of Bachelor cojones. Cojones. Yeah. Uh, to do that on television uh, for both of them, you know, to, to allow that, to be comfortable with that being shown, uh, to be able to do the breakup on TV like that. And you know, for Becca to show the example of rising up. When life hands you bachelor lemons, well, you drink some rosé first, but then you do some bachelor lemonade. And that's why we love JC, everybody, because even in that crazy moment with Ari, he spotlights the woman in the situation, the lovely Becca. JC, a champion for us all. One of the good guys. All right, everyone, that has been the biggest Bachelor bombshell moments of 2018. Again, let us know if we forgot some moments or if you disagree with the order or if you just love the order and think we did a great freaking job. I love you guys so much. Tweet me, message me anytime. Cannot wait to do Colton's season with you all. Bye.